Wave Plays, Bricks of Egypt. Hello, Wave Sign, back again with a, a new game. This game is called Bricks of Egypt. It was released by Ease Games Cosme in like 2004 or something like that, developed by Arcade Lab, who are a company that exists, I guess. Uh, it's going down. There's not a whole lot to say about this game, so this commentary is not actually going to be very long. Um, I think you can hear one of my biggest issues with this game right now, and that is... Uh, there's no music for most of it. It has uh, Hot Wheels Mechanics Moon Base Syndrome. Except it seems that the music and not music is a bit more... Uh, you don't have as long period of silences, but you also don't have as long periods of music actually playing. Uh, as you can hear, the music is pretty generic Ancient egypt -y stuff. So, yeah, t make of that what you will. And this game is its a competently designed uh, breakout clone. The music's really the only issue with it, and also its obscurity. Uh, the, the aesthetic is fine, Ancient egypt -y. I don't know, there's nothing really much to write home about, but there's also not a whole lot of problems with it either. You got your you got your physics, you got your brick shrinking, you got your all or pat bat shrinking, you know, that sort of thing. Bombs, special pieces, other drops, stuff like that. I don't know, it's just there's not a lot to complain about, there's not a lot to praise it for other than Oh boy, they didn't screw things up like uh oh. Certain other breakout clones I could name, uh, Bitbop, at least one of the ones that was written for the TI-83 calculator, uh, that breakout clone I had to write for a high school game making class, I guess, something like that. Sticky. And, you know, I kind of want to make that chunny. So I know he's saying cannons, but god, it doesn't sound like he's saying cannons. Yeah, it sounds like the announcer's saying chud it or something stupid like that. But, like, this is probably the only real thing to take issue with is that those cannons are permanent uh, on a level. If you die, you keep them. So, like, you could argue that that makes the game too easy, but. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, there's really not much more to say about this game. It's, uh,. It's competently designed, the level layouts are fine, some of the more advanced level packs are really frustrating. And it's just, it's a breakout clone. It's pretty, it's an okay one. And I'm probably only going to be playing this level pack of it because once you've seen it, you've seen it all. Okay. Whatever. So, uh, yeah. Have fun with this.
Slowing down.
going down. Shut up. 